about. Obviously, Notting Hill Carnival happened over the weekend. I did not go, um, mostly because I feel like my time at Notting Hill Carnival has been and gone. I feel like uh, I had a good run at Notting Hill Carnival. And also, just this year alone, I just didn't really feel the vibe. I may end up going again another time because it happens every single year. But this year, specifically, I didn't really feel that kind of drawn to go, um, especially because I was going out on a Sunday anyway to another rave. I didn't want to go to the rave and then go to Carnival on Monday again. It just felt a bit too much. And the one thing that I hate about it, that most people hate about it, is the way home. I feel like um, even though there's some of the best Caribbean food ever gets served in Carnival because it feels like all the best restaurants and places come down there to show off how amazing their food is i still feel like that isn't worth it to go all that way just to kind of go for the food the music is great of course you get a chance to wind up on some big bat yell and stuff if you're into that amazing see the floats see all the costumes and whatnot and uh, still still pan bands blah 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 but i just don't think it's worth it to go all to that effort just so you can go there and then have to spend two hours to try to get back home i just can't do it i really really can't and i refuse to do so so I missed out on it, but it happens, boo-hoo-hoo. But there's been a really crazy video that's been doing around that everyone's been going a bit crazy about, which features this girl getting into a bit of a scuffle with somebody, I don't know, a group. And then when she gets into a scuffle with a group, she ends up slapping some guy and the guy ends up rocking her with a flipping right cross straight to the face. And people are going absolutely crazy about it. So I'm going to play it for you and then offer some of my opinions as to why I think, um, as to what I think about the whole you know, encounter. So it's going to put it up on your screen. Get it back from the start. Let's go. Hey! Oh my god! Oh! No, 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 no! No! No way! No fucking way! <laughs> so, if you didn't see this and you're watching just via the um, audio podcast, then essentially there's some sort of argument going on on Carnival. A girl looks like she's trying to get at somebody who you know she was maybe fighting with before a boy steps in and kind of pushes and says no you're not going to try and get that person who you're trying to get and then as those as the guy and the girl are talking the girl for some reason slaps the guy around the face and then he immediately without even thinking punches her straight right hand straight across to the face and she goes flying to the ground right it's a pretty aggressive and powerful and aggy punch but by the looks of it the guy is not really i would say unfamiliar with maybe hitting people directly in the face if they try to touch him or come into space so my initial thing to say of course is that i don't condone men hitting women it's not something that i think should be happening under any circumstances but there are some exceptions and i feel like in life in general for me personally whether it's man or woman woman or man in general whatever it may be i feel like most more people especially because i've been a fan of the usc for you know what recently in the last few years or whatnot and i've been getting heavy into training for that and doing a bit of muay thai and whatnot and maybe i've become a lot more i've become a lot more uh, sensitive when it comes to physical education than streets and i feel like in general for the most part most human beings overestimate their ability to fight and uh, and underestimate their ability of the opponent that they're basically trying to antagonize or they're trying to hit or whatever it may be but i feel like in general as a general rule of thumb most people should always try and keep their hands to themselves and try their best to de-escalate whatever issue or argument they're having with whatever person i don't think you should try to go and resolve things with your hands or try to do it physically in any way because you have no idea who the person is across from you and what they're about and i feel like this is a great instance of it because i feel like most people in this situation if that girl would have slapped them because it wasn't that big of a slap wasn't that serious do you know what i mean like if you just look at the actual video she doesn't even slap him that hard it's kind of like a drunken sort of like you know mush to the face but obviously that guy doesn't take it that well he's not something that he kind of appreciates in the slightest right as he, as he gets kind of mush it's not really something that she winds back on and cocks him back and you know it's not that kind of kind of thing she doesn't scratch his eye out or anything no blood was drawn so it's a little bit aggressive what he did but the thing is the issue is around this is that most men probably wouldn't react that way and probably would just been all right to just walk off but you don't know what other people are on and we have no idea what this guy's background is we have no idea where he's from we have no idea what he's been through in life and we just know have no idea who he is as a person and i feel like some people when they go out there and they get into physical educations with people they are always estimate or they always basically act as if everyone they're, they're bumping into is going to be reasonable or somewhat right and i don't think you should have that 
assumption. I feel like most people out there are a flip of a coin away from kind of going on a complete crazy rampage, especially in the you know, in this world we're living in at the moment, considering what's going on in the world at the moment, what's going on in society, what's going on in the economy. People are on the edge. So if you really try and push them, sometimes people will reveal a monstrous side of themselves that you have never encountered before. So I feel like in this occasion, the girl should have kept their hand, should have kept her hands to herself. And I think this case, this incident would have been avoided altogether. Of course, the guy went OTT with his response and how he punched her, but I just don't think this whole incident would have happened if she a did not put her hands on her her hands on his face. But of course, there's people online, especially women, who have been basically saying there's no place in the world for this sort of violence or this sort of reaction. But unfortunately, they're not living in the real world. The real world has actions and consequences, or reaction, or you know, or an action and a reaction. And I think you should always keep that in mind. You don't. You should never kind of think you're the biggest and baddest. There's always somebody out there that can be the big, bigger and badder than you. No matter how much training you have, there's always somebody out there that can maybe fuck you up on any given day. And I just think, considering you know, people out there, it's a concrete floor. There's loads of stuff on the floor, broken glass, drugs, needles, whatever it may be. Getting into any kind of scuffle could be really. Um, lethal could be really fatal you shouldn't probably be doing it so everybody should avoid all these instances by keeping their hands to themselves but of course it's pretty gnarly to watch so for one more time we're gonna watch it because it's absolutely crazy to see a guy legitimately punch a woman in that way and not give any fucks and as well i don't think the girl was really that rowdy i think she could have been restrained or calmed down in a really effective way if you need be but for whatever reason that guy didn't feel like he owed her that kind of reaction he didn't feel like he owed her that kind of level of sympathy or understanding because she clearly didn't give it to him by putting her hands on him in the first place Hey! Oh my god! Oh! No, 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 no! 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 <laughs> that punch was fucking greasy. Honestly, absolutely greasy. But yeah, big up everyone who went to Carnival. Unfortunately, that was one of the events everyone kept talking about and making it a big deal. Um, but it wasn't that really a big deal, to be honest. Isn't it? Hopefully, the girl's okay. I think she got up and she looked pretty you know well put together after the whole occasion especially after getting knocked in the face so hopefully it didn't go that badly